This one, Magna, might be awful, and I'm not going to apologize. We all knew I was going to make some sort of dumb pun. But, no, seriously, this could be a really, really eh, kind of run. So, Magnemite, like coughing before it, does not have a very good move pool. A little better in some ways, and I think it might do better, but it's hard to know. The biggest problem with Magnemite, like coughing, is its lack of moves of different types. Magnemite has moves of two types, we're talking about attacking moves. Electric and Normal. The big, big problem with Magnemite is that it doesn't get a better move than Tackle. In fact, it doesn't get another move other than Tackle until level 21. So, the question is, do we beat Brock before then? Well, here's a battle with level 18 Magnemite. And although Geodude isn't doing very much damage, we're doing like next to nothing. Hopefully we get some critical hits. That's basically what we need to have happen. Because if we don't, we might not even make it to Onyx with any power points remaining. Geodude's tackles are doing four damage. That means 10 attacks, we lose. Thankfully, it's about a 50-50 chance of it going for a defense curl, but it's looking like it's gonna be very, very close here. We only have eight remaining, and oh my goodness, we made it to Onyx, and we immediately lose. Oh, sorry, now we lose. It's going to use Bide, we have to attack. Wonderful. So, I can show you the battle at level 19, but I think you can take my word that with just Tackle, with a Magnemite, this is not going to happen. But at level 20 with, oh wait, I can't read. It's level 21. And yes, this actually is exactly how that went. I got to level 20, realized that I'd misread and that it was level 21, and was very, 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 very annoyed. Because of course, every level takes just that much longer when you either have to beat the Geodude over and over again, or have to battle like 800 Weedle. It's not fun. Anywho, this battle we made it with eight HP, but yeah, it's not gonna work. Even if Onyx never attacked, we'd lose due to struggle. But if you have Sonic Boom, it's two hit KO. Sonic Boom deals exactly 20 damage. The fact we learn it at level 21 is just a coincidence, but early game, very, very good move, becomes kind of useless a little bit later, but thankfully for the rock Pokemon we're about to face, well, not about to face, it's gonna be a little bit, but Sonic Boom will theoretically come in handy, but it might be a three or four hit KO. Anyway, let's skip a little bit ahead. You might have noticed we don't get an electric move so soon. So we're going to have to battle either Misty or Rival 2, both of which could use an electric move without one. Who are we going to battle first, though? Maybe surprisingly, I decide to battle Misty. And the reason is she only has two Pokemon. Sonic Boom is not quite a 2 a KO. Staryu probably has 41 HP. X Defend is good. Water Gun Crit is bad. Tackle is good. Thankfully, Starmie didn't have more than 60 HP. I could have looked that up, but I didn't actually know off the top of my head. Usually, the number of HP doesn't matter so much, but we've beaten Misty on our first try without the benefit of an electric move and with a crit, but no bubble beam. I'll take it. So now, the only option is to battle Rival 2. You actually cannot head to Vermilion City until you talk to Bill, so Rival 2 is mandatory. As always, he's going to lead with Pidgeotto, and we're just going to go for Sonic Boom. Sand Attack fails, so we should win. Abra, we can go for Tackle, save our power points for Nugget Bridge, and we can knock out Rattata and Bulbasaur in three hits. It didn't even attack us, and there we go. Very, very easy victories. I mean, listen, we're kind of overleveled, but it's nice. And after not too long, Literally the second battle on Nugget Bridge, once we beat this Pidgey, we're going to get Thundershock. And funny enough, we're barely going to use Thundershock since we're going to get Thunderbolt very, very quickly. But Magnemite, if we look at its stats, I haven't actually done that yet. It has fantastic special attack, or I guess just special in Generation 1, which is even better and helped me beat Misty because it serves both offensively and defensively. 
although it loses its steel typing because, you know, steel didn't exist in Generation 1. Anywho, we're going to absolutely obliterate all the trainers, even the Onyx with Sonic Boom, so there's no point to watch this. Let's just skip ahead to Rival 3, or actually just before Rival 3. I'm not sure if we're going to use this, but battles against Rock Pokemon could take a long time. So I'm going to pick up the TM for Rest just in case. We have such a bad move pool that Rest Toxic might be something I think of doing, but I'm not sure yet. Might as well get it now, because if I don't, I won't be able to get it at all. And we can get some experience points because all the trainers here have water Pokemon. And let's face it, Magnemite probably could use some experience. And in case you thought that was sarcastic, it, it wasn't. We have a whole bunch of ground Pokemon coming up. So the higher level we are, the more hits we can survive, the more likely we're going to win. After that's done, we can battle Rival 3. He's pretty easy. Pidgeotto outspeeds due to quick attack, but one shot with Thundershock. Same with Raticate. Kadabra isn't, but it thankfully goes for Teleport. I thought Tackle would knock it out. It doesn't. And then I thought Sonic Boom would knock it out after the Potion. It doesn't. Which makes sense because, of course, it doesn't. Potions heal exactly 20. Oops. Anywho, I still don't get attacked. And it's going to be a 4-hit KO. Oh, no, it's going to be a... Well, it will be a 4-hit KO because Sonic Boom doesn't have the greatest accuracy. Kind of a mess of a battle. But we won, and that's what matters. Next up is one of the most important trainers in the entire game. I'm not kidding. Lieutenant Surge, but that's simply because when we defeat Surge, we get the best move Magnemite and every electric Pokemon is going to get, Thunderbolt, which pretty much I don't believe any of them learn without getting this TM. So thankfully we're doing a solo run and we only need one of them. Now we do have to use Sonic Boom. Thundershock's not going to do enough. And unfortunately, it can miss, and Voltorb has Sonic Boom. So yeah, we don't have a lot of HP heading to Pikachu. X Speed is good, Quick Attack not so much, and I should have used Sonic Boom. We only have 12 HP for Raichu. I use Super Sonic because why the heck not? And it's a good thing I did because it hits itself in confusion. Sonic Boom, it's gonna need to hit itself in confusion. And of course I miss. But then Surge uses an X Speed, and of course I miss. And then he hits himself in confusion. Nobody wanted to win that battle. That battle was just everyone doing everything in their power to lose. And Surge, the one thing he's good at is losing battles. So I gotta give him props for that. Anywho, we have beaten Lieutenant Surge, and we're ready to move on to everyone's favorite section of the game, Rock Tunnel. I, I mean that very sarcastically. Uh, there is the trainer with the two Geodudes and the Graveler, and they like to use Self-Destruct. So let's see how that battle went. Obviously, we have to use Sonic Boom, but at this point, it's not doing enough. Self-Destruct takes my HP down to half, and Self-Destruct, I survive on one HP, so I have to use Super Sonic. It hits Southern Infusion once, twice, thrice. So, yeah, we're getting some really good supersonic luck. Keep in mind, supersonic hits 55% of the time. And then it gets hit in confusion again 50% of the time. So we're getting absurdly lucky. You also may have noticed I picked up an extra max potion, and that's because Oddish might survive. And if it did, we would need a little bit more HP than just one to make it through without having to go back to the Pokemon Center. Very, very good rock tunnel, all things considered. But we're going to enter a really tricky section of the game. Erica, grass type. Giovanni, ground type. Those are my two options. Which one shall I take? It's hideout. Hideout. Gotta be starting with hideout. Anyway, um, Sonic Boom is still the move we're going to use. We do have double edge. But against Rock Pokemon, it's not super useful. It's going to be a 4 hit KO on Rhyhorn. But thankfully, as long as Kangaskhan doesn't one-shot me... Oh no, we flinch. Hey, guard spec. We will one-shot it. So, again, really getting some good luck. You all know what's going to happen. As soon as we get to the Elite Four, the luck is going to turn around. It's going to take us like three hours. But, so far, the luck has been absurd, honestly. I cannot remember the last run we got such a string of good luck leading to first try victories. Again, 
it's going to turn around. It always does. But making the run a lot more fun than it otherwise would be. So we're going to go shopping, buy some calciums, get fly. And then we're going to go battle rival four, who should be a complete joke. He leads with Pidgeotto for the last time. It's going to evolve after this. We outspeed one shot. We're way over leveled. Gyarados outspeed one shot. Growlithe outspeed one shot. Kadabra outspeed one shot. And Ivysaur, we're going to use double edge. So it's going to be a two shot. I switch to Sonic Boom. It misses. I go for Thunderbolt. And turns out Thunderbolt did more than enough. So this is the last time the rival's going to be easy. Kadabra is going to be kind of difficult. Oh, I've never actually run into that channeler accidentally. Oh, well, not a big deal because the end game is going to be really difficult. This is typically what I consider the early game and the mid game and end game are going to be surprisingly tough. We do have Thunderbolt, but there are ground Pokemon littered throughout and oh, speaking of which, and we don't have the best moves for them. Once we defeat Koga, we might be able to use Toxic Strats, but Toxic takes a long time to actually work. So yeah, let's go and skip ahead and see how I handle the mid game. Now this might not surprise you based on the fact I said I need Toxic, but battling Koga is essential. Toxic will be the best way to get rid of a lot of the ground Pokemon. We're no longer over leveled, so coughing isn't a one at KO. It's probably a range. Thankfully, Muck is a two at KO and it doesn't attack. And it is a range. We knock out Coughing. Smog is fine. We get a crit. And then Koga gets crit self-destruct. So we're going to win. It's just going to take us quite a few attempts to actually get Weezing to use anything but self-destruct. So once again, we see a range. Disable is fine. Two down. We get a range again. And Sludge is fine. Self-destruct. What can you do? Try again. Like we said, sometimes you get good luck, sometimes you get bad luck, but thankfully these are really, really quick retries. All right, Thunderbolt, Sludge, not great because Sludge from Weezing could knock us out. Thankfully you don't get, oh, well, that's really bad. Um, X attack, we miss. Ah, come on. All right, oh, well, <laughs> speaking of the good luck, we got a miss and then a critical hit with a range that actually worked in our favor. So we could have probably used one more level. Like I said, we actually did need more levels. So now we're going to head to Saffron. Funny enough, I actually haven't done Safari Zone yet, but that's going to set our respawn point when we dig out of the Safari Zone to Saffron City. So that means that the next thing we're going to do is battle rival Fievel. This time he leads with Pidgeot and is probably going to outspeed. Sand attacks the worst case scenario, but because it hit with two, and because we've defeated Koga, we'll outspeed and one-shot Gyarados. We level up, so we could have taught Swift. Maybe we should. We one-shot Growlithe. And Alakazam, you can see we're finally missing. It's not great to miss so much. We do knock out Alakazam, but now we have to deal with Venusaur, which outspeeds and crit Razor Leaf. So, yeah, that's not the best. Now, at this point, I just battled Rival Fievel again and again to kind of figure out what level I want to be at. What do I need to look out for? You know, simple stuff. We make it through Pidgeot and Gyarados, this time without Sand Attack. So that's good. Alakazam goes for Recover turn one and Psybeam turn two. 55 HP is good. I go for Sonic Boom. It actually does a little bit less than a critical hit Thunderbolt. And we win. What? Okay, these were not intent. Okay, well, that kind of messes up my plan not in a huge way mind you because i'm not ready to face giovanni oh my gosh we almost lost right here that would have been terrible because i haven't saved i was gonna battle a bunch of trainers in sylph company to level up but now i could try battling giovanni it's not gonna go super great for me you know since i don't really have a great way to knock out not his Rhyhorn, but his Nidoqueen, since it's immune to Toxic. Anyways, the first Pokemon's Nidorino, one shot, easy. Kangaskhan, outspeed one shot, easy, level up. Rhyhorn, I go for Toxic, it misses, that's fine. But you can see Horn Attack does a lot. I can use Sonic Boom, but then I go for Rest. And so the idea is I need full HP for Nidoqueen, but now all I have is Sonic Boom, and you can see just how much the body slam does, I can restore health, 
but it continues to use Tail Whip and Body Slam. And yeah, we did exactly 20 damage. It would have been a six or seven hit KO. And I actually forgot to say before this guy. Yeah, we need a new strategy. And I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. You can see me reset. And in the end, I decide to abandon battling Giovanni for now and head to Cinnabar Island. There is one problem. Since I bought some extra vitamins, I don't have the $3,500 or items to sell in order for me to get the max repels I normally do. So that might cost me a little bit of time. Oops. Um, I usually do things in a very specific order and I always have more than enough money for that. So, oh well. But yes, we're gonna get through the Pokemon Mansion fairly okay. In fact, I don't actually get a single extra encounter. Really weird stuff, but I might as well show you, it's pretty insane that I don't. But after this, what I'm gonna do is battle every trainer in Blaine's gym, since they're gonna be fairly easy to defeat. And then, once we do that, we'll battle Blaine. That will increase my special by 12.5%, and the levels I'm gonna gain by beating all these trainers hopefully will be enough to beat Giovanni, but I might need a new strategy. I also need to make sure I save like three times. Mostly because I was looking at my other screen, trying to figure out what to do for Giovanni. It's funny, you guys really don't see the process that goes into making these. But yeah, I'm constantly thinking if there's like a difficult point either coming up, or one that I've abandoned, I'm thinking the whole time of, okay, what is the earliest I can do this, and what am I going to need? But before then, we still have to talk about Blaine. Blaine leads with Growlithe, we outspeed in one shot. Now we level up. Ponyta, Stomp, it's fine. Rapid Ash, Fire Spin, that's way less fine. And a critical hit. Growl is fine. Okay, crit's good. And takedown. All right, we have one more. Ah. This might actually be a little bit of a problem. We don't outspeed. And I don't know. I mean, I could mimic agility here. But one small, minor, teensy weensy issue with that. I, I don't have mimic yet. But we've made it through to our canine, and actually we won. Never mind. Hooray! <laughs> that was easier than I thought. Okay, so now that we've beaten Blaine, I'm going to go and head back to Giovanni. So we've leveled up a bit. Let's just see what's going to happen with a minimal strategy change. We know Thunderbolt's going to knock out the first two Pokemon. I decided not to teach Rest and to stick with Sonic Boom and Toxic. But you can see there's a bit of a problem with that. We lose a lot of HP, and we only have 47, so if I go for Sonic Boom, it's going to take too long. I can go for Double Edge, but the problem is, I'm just simply going to knock myself out due to Recoil. So, I kind of looked through Magnemite's moves, and I realized... Well, you know what? Let me just show you what I realized. That at level 47, we get Screech. And you can see where this is going to go. We can knock out the first two Pokemon, we can use Toxic, and then we can use Screech. And, well, Screech can miss, so, you know, that's not great. Unfortunately, we had to delete Sonic Boom for Screech, and that leads to a pretty bad situation, where I actually can deal a ton of damage to Nidoqueen, but I don't have enough HP for the recoil. Earlier, I could have rectified this by deleting Double Edge for Swift, however, I didn't, but... There is a TM for Swift, which we can get, and... I mean, you know what's gonna happen for the first two Pokémon, so no suspense there. But, after we knock out Kangaskhan, we can use... Actually, I meant to use Toxic first, but we can use Screech, and then use Swift. We should probably use Toxic, I was just kind of curious how much this would do. But now, as long as Nidoqueen cooperates, which it's not, we should... Alright, well... That wasn't very good. Uh, let's just skip ahead. Okay, great. Rhyhorn just fainted. Now we can go for Screech. Guard spec, so I can't use another Screech. But it's a 3 at KO. And we have plenty of HP to spare. And we get to level up. So, is that something we do in the future? Probably not. I have a better strategy. But for this one battle, it worked pretty well. And I'm proud of it. So, we have a couple more gym leaders remaining. We have Erica. And we have Sabrina. Neither of them should be too difficult. Kadabra, it outsped, but recover, another recover, fine. 
So that's not great. Maybe we should do an Erica. One shot Mr. Mime, one shot Venomoth, and then Psybeam. You know what? We're going to be fine. Okay. So we beat Sabrina fairly easily. Now let's go and beat Erica. Erica leads with Victory Bell. We should outspeed by this point. We do, and it's two a KO. Rap's not great, but at least it's not Razor Leaf. Tangela is a one a KO. We level up, and then Vile Bloom, two a KO, Poison Powder, fine. So now we have to defeat the third iteration of Giovanni, but we have Mimic now. And that opens up a very interesting possibility, which should make the battle fairly trivial. Against the Rhyhorn, we can just use Toxic. I try to go for Screech, and I do use a Swift, but really there's not much more we can do against it. Against Doug Trio, I screwed up. We can use Swift. Funny enough, that will hit a Pokemon while they're using Dig, but that's not actually what I meant to do. All right, so I leveled up a little bit more because here's what we want to do. We're going to use Toxic, and now you can see we're done with Swift, which is why I wasn't thinking of using it before. Swift has been replaced by Mimic, and here's the idea. Hopefully, Doug Trio uh, doesn't go for Dig. So the problem is if it goes for Dig, Mimic won't work. We needed to not go for Dig turn one, like guard spec, which Giovanni really likes to use. And then it can do pretty much whatever it wants. Well, that's not completely true. We'd actually prefer it to go for Dig turn two because it outspeeds us. And we should knock it out in one hit, hopefully. Question is, is it gonna cooperate? And I forgot to teach Mimic again. Great, I am so proud of myself. So let's delete Swift for Mimic and battle one more time. Okay, so. We're going to use Toxic, and now Stomp is fine. If it uses enough Tail Whips, we might even outspeed Doug Trio, which would make the battle pretty easy. But we don't get a single one, so that's okay. Now, Mimic. Oh, Guard Spec's perfect. Now go for Dig. It goes for Dig. I go for Dig, so it misses, and it goes for Dig a second time. We won. I mean... Okay, that's not true. The guard spec helps quite a bit there. And Nido King possibly, yeah, tackle. Now we won. Rhydon can't really do anything to me. And I'm just going to go for Toxic. It's going to be a little bit more effective. Go for Screech and then Dig combined with Toxic and a crit. Knocks out Giovanni. And we're ready to fight Rival 6. So this is when the game starts to get really tough. The plan here is to mimic agility, which will both allow me to outspeed Alakazam and will increase my special. I'm not sure how close I am to leveling up, so we might have to fix that and we'll see what happens. But yeah, this should be okay. It's usually the champion which is tougher because the champion's Pidgeot doesn't have agility for me to mimic. Okay, so we're going to mimic agility. It can attack me. Actually, just went for agility. Now, I can use all three agilities here. I'm actually going to wait. Knock out Pidgeot. Now, against Rhyhorn, I can just set up agility because there's nothing else for me to really do here. However, I'm a little nervous about leveling up because I would like the special boost. So I'm going to wait, see if I level up. I don't. I'll still have speed and one-shot Gyarados. I will... Uh, okay, that's a Gen 1 miss, but I'll one-shot and see... That was the worst time to level up. We do two-shot Alakazam, but now we're kind of yeah. By leveling up, we don't have any special boosts, and since we got rid of Swift, our best move against Venusaur, it probably still would have been Thunderbolt, but this is going to be complicated. I tried a couple more times, but it wasn't going to work, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the Fighting Dojo, because we actually need a lot of experience points in order to level up, but once we do level up, I'm then going to go and use all my rare candies. Typically, I like to use them before the Elite Four, but one battle earlier, or a couple battles earlier, depending on when I use them, isn't going to make a huge difference. So let's just fast forward, and I'll already have used my rare candies. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go for Mimic. We're going to Mimic Agility, and I'm going to use all the Agilities now. I mean, I guess I could use them against Rhyhorn, but the upside of using them against Pidgeot is Rhyhorn has a lot of attacks in which it can damage me. And not only is my special increased, but so is my defense. So that's going to help me. And you can see how little damage all Rhyhorn's attacks are doing. That's useful because Venusaur is not going to be a 1-KO. 
All right, 57, knock out Gyarados, knock out Growlithe. We don't level up. Alakazam is a 2 KO Reflect is perfect. Oh no! I think I forgot to use the rare candies. I definitely did. All right, whoops, let's try that again. Okay, so now you can see I'm at level 62. We're gonna mimic agility and we should be fine not to level up. I'm just gonna use one now and then I'm gonna go for toxic. And you know what? I'm just gonna use agility against Rhyhorn. Since we're a higher level, it doesn't matter too, too much. And it's not like we have anything to do versus Rhyhorn anyway, so should be more efficient. I don't know. It's eh, whatever. Still 51 HP. One shot Gyarados. One shot Growlithe. One shot Alakazam. Oh, we do. And now we don't level up. It's a two shot. Growth will make it a three shot. Vine Whip is good instead of Razor Leaf. Great. Perfect. That went exactly the way I thought it would go. The Elite Four. All right. Laura Lee. Well, she uses Ice Pokemon, but mostly water. We're fine. Bruno, Onyx will be annoying. I'll mimic Ice Punch. Agatha, that'll suck. Lance, might suck. The Champion, might suck. Oh boy, let's get going. Alrighty, so Laura Lee leads with Dugong. We're just gonna go for Thunderbolt, knock it out. We're gonna go for Thunderbolt, knock out Cloyster. We level up, it's fine. One shot, Slowbro. Jinx will be a two shot. It actually outspeeds and goes for Thrash, a critical hit, which is annoying, but we should one shot Lapras and very good. So we have potions, we have ethers, we have elixirs. Bruno shouldn't be too big a deal. Basically, just get through first Onyx, and then we should be fine. We already mentioned what I'm going to do. So just use Toxic, and then just use Screech to conserve power points. And this will take a few turns, but Onyx will eventually go for Rage, which it can't stop using Rage. Actually, it never did. Okay, Mimic Ice Punch, and there's Thunder Punch. Thunderbolt knocks out Hitmonchan. Thunderbolt knocks out Hitmonlee. Onyx Ice Punch, and Machamp, I don't know if it's a one-shot. Okay, it's not, but X Defend is fine. All right, two problems I see with Agatha. The first is we're not going to outspeed. The second is that we're using special attacks, so we're not going to one-shot. So, yeah, that's not great, and we just have to kind of hope for good luck. We also don't have a lot of HP. Oh, well. All right, she leads with Gengar. Dream Eater, great. And Nightshade, fine. So we have two hits left. Golbat will outspeed in one shot. Haunter, ooh, we outspeed, but no one shot. Dream Eater's perfect. Arbok, we outspeed in one shot. Gengar 2, Toxic is fine. And Nightshade, 8 HP is still HP. We have beaten Agatha on our very first attempt. Excellent. And now we have to battle Lance. The big question. Do we outspeed Gyarados? If we do, I think we're fine. If we don't, we could be in trouble. We do. Okay. Now I'm going to mimic agility in order to outspeed Aerodactyl. Dragon Rage is bad. Slam misses. Thunderbolt after one agility is a 2 KO. We only have 54 HP though. Now we have 14 HP. We do outspeed Aerodactyl, but we need Dragonite not to go for Slam or Hyper Beam. Nothing I could do there. Nothing I could do there. I just had to hope it went for a 1 in 2 chance. It went for Barrier or Agility, and it didn't. So we have to do this all over again. But there's going to be a problem. We are going to make it past Bruno and Laura Lee every single time. But Agatha can do that. That wasn't even Dream Eater. We're at 20 HP, so now, anytime, thankfully, Haunter was paralyzed, anytime we get attacked, it's over. Or, well, actually, hitting ourselves in confusion twice. But you see what I mean. There's nothing I can do there, so we're going to lose to Agatha a bunch. And we still haven't beaten Lance yet, obviously. All right, just to remind you, I don't save between Elite Four members. I am battling them every single time. Ooh, crit, nice. If I were saving, I would have used Thunder because it would be consistent for time, like real time, if I saved in between. But I don't do that. It's just the way Pokemon Stadium. Blame Pokemon Stadium. It didn't let you do that. So I always felt from then a real Elite Four battle doesn't have saving. Anyway, let's go battle Lance again. This could be a big problem. We know we're going to one-shot Gyarados. That's not an issue. But the thing is, 
Slam's fine. It only does 30. Hyper Beam miss. I'm going to go for three agilities. So Hyper Beam's fine, but it's still just a two hit KO versus Dragon Arrow. That's not very good. We're still at 26 HP. Like, we should only use one agility. It didn't make any difference. Hyper Potion, okay. And agility. So I guess the other agilities did matter. Depends whether we just outspeed Dragonite or not. I don't know. But we did make it to the champion. We've used up all our elixirs, all our full heals, but is that going to be enough? I don't know. Also, I said full heal instead of full restore. Whatever. Okay, so I have nothing to mimic. It goes for sky attack, which is good. I one shot. Alakazam can go for psychic. It goes for reflect. That's great. And I could mimic psychic. It goes for psychic and it gets a crit. I was thinking I'll use Psychic against Venusaur, but that did way, way too much damage. It's probably a 2 KO, even without the crit, just because of how damage is calculated. So, yeah, I think I can't risk mimicking Alakazam. I'm going to have to do something else. But before we can even think about that, we have to beat Agatha and Lance again, which could take me a long time. So far, I am 2 for 3 versus Agatha. But, yeah, see, Nightshade right off the bat is bad. A switch is fine, I guess, but Golbat sucks anyway. 76 HP is good, but, well, Super Potion's fine. Okay. If we have more than 60 HP, we should... Oh, that's not good. I was going to say we should knock out Gengar, but a Confuse Ray miss is the only reason we did. And now we still have to rely on good luck for Lance. I mean, if Dragonite decides to go for Hyper Beam, there's nothing we can do. I don't think I'm going to go for three agilities. It doesn't make any sense. But yeah, I pretty much just have to hope. And yeah, just, just hope. Anyway, knock out Gyarados. We level up. Mimic agility. Slam. We're going to use one agility because we need to outspeed Aerodactyl. And we only have 38 HP. We could lose right here. Thankfully, it goes for slam. So we have 14 HP. We will knock out Aerodactyl, but now we need barrier or agility. Okay, we get agility. And we actually naturally outspeed Dragonite, which is really, really good. So that means I can use one agility safely, and I just need a one in two chance Dragonite doesn't attack. I don't love those odds, but I don't hate those odds. Oh, and by the way, I had a rare candy I forgot about from Victory Road, so we should use that. Anyway, let's go battle the champion for a second time. We're 0 for 1. Can we be 1 for 2? Let's see. Okay, Whirlwind's fine. One down. Remember, no mimicking this time. Psychic, no special drop. Oh, it's a 3 KO, but it's... Ooh, it gets paralyzed. Perfect, 84 HP. Now we're going to go for Toxic. Oh, of course we miss. All right, four hits. That's not great. And... Four hits. We have four HP. And Tail Whip. And Horn Drill. Ooh, we might make it. Tail Whip. Oh, we might make it. Tail Whip. Oh, we might make it. Oh my God. All right, we made it through to Gyarados. And we have a bunch of bad boosts, which is really good. So we one shot our canine and it's gonna be a two. Okay, well, it would be a three shot. So yeah, that's not gonna work. Even with all those badge boosts, I don't recall how many tail whips it used. It's still gonna take a really long time. I could use rest instead of screech. And that would help. We could rest against Rhydon, which can't do all that much to me. So that's the idea. But is that going to be enough for Venusaur? The answer is no, because we're not going to make it. See, Gengar can use Hypnosis and Dream Eater. And even though it actually does very little damage, when combined with Nightshade and more Hypnosis and more Nightshade, yeah, the battle can go really easily in Agatha's favor. So this could take me a while. We are now three for five, though. So... Not too mad about that. All right, round six. Let's not go to 50%, but here's the thing. You might be wondering, why don't you just level up? We could, we just have to level up to such an absurd degree that we would outspeed all of Agatha's Pokemon. And we know it's at least, well now, 50-50 without leveling up. And I often say if it's 20%, I think that's good enough with a pre-evolved Pokemon. So, we're just going to have to battle her another time. And we lost. Well, not this battle. This battle we actually won. So, we are four for eight now. And we've made it back to Lance. I have not made it to Lance since I last showed you. And 
We had a lot of HP this time, but I have a new strategy versus Lance, which should make him a little bit more consistent, I think. Let me show you what that strategy is. Against Gyarados, we simply go for Thunderbolt, just like before. And we're not going to use Agility versus Dragonair 1, because we're going to level up here. I used my Rare Candy earlier. Now, I'm going to knock out Dragonair, let Aerodactyl attack me, and against Dragonite, I'm going to go for Rest. And the reason is, it's unlikely to use Slam, and if it uses Hyper Beam, I get a free turn anyway. It didn't even do that. So I can pretty safely rest since I know I outspeed Dragonite. Before we didn't know if we outsped without agility. Now that we know we do, we can use that to our advantage. And it's a pretty consistent fight. But what isn't consistent is the champion. We're 0 for 2. Can we make it 1 for 3? Let's 1 for C. That was awful. All right, we knock out Pidgeot. Now, Psychic, no special drop, no paralysis, Psybeam, oh my god, are you kidding me? By the way, that's why I don't mimic Alakazam, it's a 1 in 3 chance in Generation 1 and Alakazam will get a critical hit. Those odds just don't work for me. We make it back to the champion on our very, very next attempt, which is good. But if I don't beat him, I might go for Thunder, but I don't know, we might try one more time. Hey. We're over 500 versus Agatha. That's pretty cool. Five for nine. Anyway, we knock out Pidgeot. Reflect is really good. No paralysis, no crit. 93 HP. We can work with that. So let's go for Toxic. Leer is fine. And I'm going to go for Rest, get my HP back. I, it's a little early for Rest, but eh. Now I might mimic Horn Drill. I mean, 30% odds, but I don't know. But his Toxic knocks out right on it, never attacked me, which is really good. We can one-shot Gyarados, probably a two-shot, actually Arcanine outspeeds me. Not now, after we paralyzed it, but pretty good. And I'm just gonna go, <laughs> let's go. All right, that works. I mean, listen, we would have had probably two or three attempts at Horn Drill. So odds are it would have hit once. I'll take it. Okay, so Magnemite's a weird Pokemon. So much time spent to beating Brock. 7 hours, 18 minutes, final time. You know what that means? Magnemite for now is just outside the top 10. I mean, it beat the Elite Four fairly quickly. Other than Brock, it actually did quite well. Part of me almost wishes I picked Gen 2 or Gen 3 where movesets are a little more balanced. By the way, the big reason I like Gen 1 is trainers don't move. They don't spin around. And that makes things really annoying because you can run into trainers accidentally all the time. But we don't have to talk about future generations. We still have a lot of Generation 1 left. Fully evolved, middle forms. I'm going to do them all. Why not? At this point, it would be cool to have a playlist of 150 videos well, or thereabouts because we've combined some. But 140 or so videos, it'll be cool. It'll be something I'll look back on and I'll say, hey, every single Pokemon in the game... I beat the game with it. Cool stuff. Anyway, hopefully I'll be back much sooner than I usually have been recently. But until then, thanks for watching. Take care.